Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 6 from exercise 10.3, chapter number 10 quadratic equations. In my previous videos, I have solved the examples and the questions from 1 to 5 related to this exercise. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. Question number 6 from exercise 10.3, chapter 10 quadratic equation says the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side, find the sides of the field. So first of all, let us understand the question here. They are saying that there is a rectangular field. Let us name it as A, B, C and D. Okay, this is a rectangular field. So they are saying the diagonal of the rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. Okay, so there is also a diagonal in this rectangular field. The two sides of a rectangle are longer and two sides are shorter. They are saying that the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side. They are also saying that the, this longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side and also the diagonal is 60 meters more than compared to the shorter side. Now we have to find the sides of the field. So let us first assume let the shorter side of a rectangular field be. Let the shorter side of a rectangular field B x meters okay we are assuming the now since in the question they are saying that according to the question the diagonal of the rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side so what is the diagonal length of diagonal is 60 meters more than the shorter side so it is x plus 60 meters the length of the diagonal is x plus 60 meters similarly they have also mentioned if the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side so let us write down length of longer side is x plus since it is 30 meters more it is x plus 30 meters this is the longer side so it is x plus 30 and this is also x plus 30. Since the sides AB is equal to CD and the side BC is equal to AD and also the angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C and it is all the angles are equal equal to angle D. So here we, it is a 90 degree angle. So here if you observe ABC forms a right angled triangle. So for this ABC we now we can apply a Pythagoras theorem. So by using the Pythagoras theorem we can find out the X value. Okay so let us apply by Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem says the hypotenuse square is equal to the base square plus the perpendicular square. So here in this right angle triangle ABC, the hypotenuse is the AC, base is AB and the perpendicular is BC. So what is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is AC square is equal to the base is AB square plus the perpendicular is BC square. So let us substitute the value of AC square. AC value is x plus 60. So we will write x plus 60 the whole square is equal to the base AB is x plus 30. So x plus 30 the whole square plus BC will be the perpendicular or the shorter side. So it is x square. Okay, now let us apply the a plus b the whole square formula and open the brackets. The a plus b the whole square formula if you apply, so you will get a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 
टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो हियर ए इज इक्वल टू एक्स एंड बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सो ए स्क्वायर विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इन टू ए वैल्यू इज एक्स एंड बी इज सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्सटी स्क्वायर वॉट इज सिक्सटी स्क्वायर सो सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी विल बी जीरो इंटू जीरो एनीथिंग इज जीरो सो सिक्स जीरो अगेन जीरो सिक्स सिक्स अ थर्टी सिक्स ओके सो इट इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू अगेन वी विल अप्लाई ए प्लस बी द होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला हियर सो इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू अगेन एक्स इंटू बी इज हियर थर्टी प्लस थर्टी स्क्वायर सो वॉट इज थर्टी स्क्वायर अगेन सो थर्टी इंटू थर्टी विल बी जीरो सो थ्री जीरो जा अगेन जीरो थ्री थ्री जा नाइन सो दिस इज नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो हियर दिस विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू सिक्सटी इज सिक्स टू जा ट्वेल्व सो इट इज वन ट्वेंटी एक्स प्लस थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर अगेन थ्री टू जा सिक्स प्लस सिक्सटी एक्स प्लस नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ सेंडिंग ऑल दीज टर्म्स टू दी राइट हैंड साइड सो वी आर गोइंग टू ऑप्टेन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन ट्वेंटी एक्स प्लस थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्सटी एक्स माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड माइनस अगेन एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ वी विल ऑब्जर्व दिस माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर विल गेट कैंसल्ड सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ जस्ट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर हियर सो माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर देन वन ट्वेंटी एक्स एंड माइनस सिक्सटी एक्स विल बी प्लस सिक्सटी एक्स वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट विद दी ग्रेटर नंबर साइन सिंस वन ट्वेंटी इज प्लस वी आर टेकिंग प्लस सिक्सटी एक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड विल बी थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड सो लेट इज टेक कैरी हियर कैंसलिंग दिस विल बी टू एंड वन सिक्सटीन माइनस नाइन विल बी सेवन सो दीज जीरोज विल कम डाउन सो टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड सो दिस विल बी प्लस टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ लेट इज मल्टीप्लाई बाई अ माइनस साइन टू रिमूव द नेगेटिव साइन टू द एक्सक्वायर टर्म सो इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस होल इक्वेशन विथ माइनस वी विल ऑप्टेन माइनस इंटू माइनस विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस इंटू प्लस विल बी अगेन माइनस सिक्सटी एक्स देन प्लस इंटू माइनस विल बी माइनस टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड is equal to zero. So now we have obtained the quadratic equation. So now for this quadratic equation, you can apply any of the three methods and find the roots. So we can apply either the factorization method, or we can apply the quadratic formula, or you can apply the completing the square method to find the x value. So here, let us apply quadratic formula to find the roots. So a quadratic formula is given by is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so now if we compare this obtained quadratic equation with a standard form of a quadratic equation which is given by ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we can find out the a b and c values so what is the a value a value is equal to 1 Here the coefficient of x square is one. Then the coefficient of b is minus sixty, right? And what is the uh, c value? That is the coefficient constant. That is minus two thousand seven hundred. So now let us substitute the a b c value in the quadratic formula and find the roots. So x is equal to minus. What is the b value? It is minus sixty plus or minus square root of again. b square that is minus 60 square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus 2700 okay so this will be divided by 2a that is 1 x will be equal to minus into minus it will become plus 60 plus or minus again minus 60 square is 3600 okay so square root of 
3600 again this minus into minus will become plus 4 into 2700 so what is 4 into 2700 so two zeros will come down then 7 fours are 28 four twos are 6 7 8 okay so it is 8800 so we have to add this 8800 to 3600 so we will get zeros will come down so plus 6 it is 14 carry 1 8 plus 4 is again 14 14400 so this will be divided by 2 so you will get here 60 plus or minus square root of 14000 400 divided by 2. Now we can split this uh, 14400 as 144 into 100 right and this 144 can be split as 12 into 12 it is 144 and what is 100? 100 is nothing but 10 into 10. So if we take the square root of these term the pairing of 12 and 12 and 10 and 10 is done and then when we take the square root for these terms then 12 is going to come out 12 into 10 since the pairing of 12 and 10 is done so we will obtain 60 plus or minus what is 12 into 10 12 into 10 is nothing but 120 so this will be 60 plus or minus 120 divided by 2 for one root we are going to take plus sign and the another root we are going to take minus sign so x is equal to 60 plus 120 divided by 2 and x is equal to 60 minus 120 divided by 2. So what is 6 plus 12? It is 180. So what is 180 divided by 2? So 2 1s are 2, 9s are 2. So it is 90 and what is 60 minus 120? It is minus 60 by 2 or if you divide it by 2 you will get minus 30. x is equal to 90 and x is equal to minus 30. Now what have you assumed the x value as initially the shorter side of a rectangular field be x meters. Since the any measuring quantity cannot be in negative so we will not take this uh, minus 30 term. We are just going to take x value as equal to 90. Therefore, the shorter side of the rectangular field is 90 meters. So, longer side is x plus 30. So, that will be what is x value here we are taking 90 plus 30. So, that will be equal to 120 meters. So, shorter side is 90 meters and longer side is 120 meters. Therefore, we can write down the shorter side of the rectangular field is 90 meters and the longer side is 120 meters so this is how we solve this problem if you have any doubts please comment me below in the comment section in my next video i will be solving question number 7 from exercise 10.3 chapter number 10 quadratic equations so till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you